So I would like to inform you timings for today's session. Like for uh, icebreaker, icebreaker speech, two to two, two to three minutes. Green card at two minutes, uh, yellow card at two thirty, and red card at three minutes. For prepared speech, uh, green card at three, uh, yellow card at three thirty, and red card at uh, four minutes. So let us start uh, with uh, ice breaking speech. There are two speech today. So let us uh, please help me to welcome our first icebreaker uh, speech club member, Miss uh, Avzia Khan. Abzia Khan is there. We cannot see. Is yes, Abzia Khan? Yeah, I'm here. You are here. Okay, so Zoom is yours now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not prepared right now. I'm not taking like you will be taking my first day. Can I take another? Can I get another chance? Can you? Uh, I just can you dance, so I don't know how to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. You you can take later. No problem. So we can. Uh, okay. Thank. Thank you very much. Yeah. We can ask for the other person, uh, Mr. Sahib Sheikh. You are welcome. Now Zoom is yours. Excuse me, Nasruddin. Uh, yes. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, Speechcraft uh, Abzia. Uh, I we we like yes, to from you. And if you can introduce uh, about you two three sentences, it would be nice. So that we we'll know about more about you, is it possible? To speechcraft Abzia. Yes, it didn't get you. Yes, is it possible to just introduce about you two three sentences? Or your voice is continuously breaking. I, uh, okay, uh, uh, Miss Abzia, yes, just sir? just introduce yes, yourself. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Just just introduce yourself. No need to speak. Just to introduce yourselves about your education, about your passion. Just two two lines only. No no issues. Okay okay no problem. Then. Okay I'll start then. Yeah please. Good evening everyone. My name is Abzia. I'm basically from Maharashtra district, Chandrapur. Currently I'm staying in Hyderabad. I'm pursuing MSc in Chemistry from Usmania University of Hyderabad. Uh, and now I'm uh, I'm also doing job in Wipro. As associate, I did my school education from government school. After that, I had to, I attained uh, I admin uh, administrate uh, admin in uh, private college. That is my inter college. That was so that was in my hometown only. I I completed my whole education till degree in my hometown only. Just came for the MSc in Hyderabad. I like to I like to listen music and sometimes when I was alone I I usually used to like to listening songs and cooking I uh, cooking is also like to cooking is uh, it's my passion to cook then I like traveling also I really I really want to improve my English I just I just uh, got this link from uh, your site so I'm so surprised I'm so excited to then to attend every classes for some of my uh, I uh, actually my exam is going on. That's why I am unable to join continuously this session. Uh, luckily, I got the chance today. Yeah. So this I I came from family of five. My father is work uh, working in paper industry. I have two siblings. My younger brother doing graduation and my little sister studying in ten class. That's uh, that's all. It's about myself. I like chemistry. To be. Uh, I want to improve. I want to uh, build my career in chemistry, but uh, due to some health issue, I unable to sell that uh, chemicals. Well, so I I choose different uh, like in just I did uh, just uh, doing in the pro company as a associate in IT company. So I like to like like chemistry chemicals, but some my some of my health I still I choose different field. So this all about of myself. That's it. Thank you for giving this much opportunity to tell about myself. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Abzia. Give a huge round of applause. She don't want to speak, but she finally able to deliver her first uh, ice breaking speech. Uh, very nice. Sorry, okay, now your, we can... your voice is continuously breaking. I hope I'm. I will. I will clear to you. I was clear to you. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes, yeah, let us uh, move to our uh, second round for the prepared speech. Now, I think only one ice breaking speech for our A group. Yes. Now we can go for the prepared speeches. So please welcome our first uh, outstanding uh, speaker who is by profession a government teacher, means teacher in a government school. He is a BTEC in computer science. He is passionate about teaching and helping uh, others. He loves, he loves to play cricket and chess. And his name is Mr. Saurabh Tripathi. Mr. Saurabh Tripathi, now Zoom is you are. Can you unmute? Unmute, unmute. Yes, yes. Thank you, Nasruddin, sir. Good evening, everyone. So today, I just want to ask one question. Are you, do you really think that the education that you got in your school or in college is really helping you in your life? Just think okay. for a few seconds, two or five seconds, and just keep this in your mind. Yes, it is helpful. Okay, let me tell you. The education that you got in your school is hardly helping you in your current life. That is why you are here to learn speaking skills, soft skills, other things. Now, let us know where are the problems. See, in our school, we are taught to learn what the school, the teachers teaching you. They majorly focus on rote learning. You are not told what you should know. You cannot relate to what you are studying. You are just spoon-fed what you should know. Like, you are studying interest. In your mathematics class, you might have studied about simple interest, compound interest. But you never realized how it can change your life. Like, if you earn... And if you deposit your money in a bank and you just get simple interest, you will not make a money. But if you realize that you are doing sums and you were finding difference between SI and CI, if you relate, use that concept of CI in your current life, after a few years, you don't have to work. Have you ever realized this? A school teacher would have taught us this that if you earn and you save, not in simple interest, but in compound interest, in your, when you reach your 30s or 40s, you can become a millionaire. Same way, in our school, our teacher used to talk and there was no two-way communication. The teacher, what they used to teach us, we used to write it down, learn it and mug up it and just present in the examination. We never thought, we never used our brains. And our teacher also used to check or give a, a lot marks to those students who were writing what they have dictated. So we used our brain, but in current life, in our situation, we have to use our brain. We have to fight, we have to deal with everyday knowledge, everyday circumstances, and we are not prepared for it. So. I just want to say that education is very important and our school system should not test on the traditional ways. They should come out with new testing assessment techniques also so that students are prepared for their real life challenges. They should be street smart. Even if a student is not literate, is not educated, but he when goes to a market and he is not duped by people, he is very intelligent. He is educated, even if he has not gone to school. Second, I would say that in schools, there should be debates, competitions, so that they develop soft skills. They should know the etiquettes, how to talk, how to walk, how to do things. Now, also, they should be told about the application of the knowledge that they are getting in school, how that knowledge is going to help them in their life. Also, 
we see after doing our btech we realize oh this is what not this is not our or our interest so we change different field so in the student we should develop the passion we should not kill the passion our parents and our teachers they study so that you can do well in life but after doing a job you realize that the, you are not passionate about it and you leave the job so in the school life you should be told what you are passionate about and you should do well in that thank you very much that's all thank you so much uh, skills uh, speech crafter uh, saurabh for your wonderful speech now our next uh, speech crafter who, who will deliver the speech please uh, help me to welcome our next speaker who is a young talented and confident girl a commerce graduate who is currently preparing for her uh, civil service examination she try to learn new things and believe in learn unlearn and relearn the subject of her topic is educating the mind without educating a heart is no education at all she is uh, none other than miss tahmina sheik give give her a round applause miss tahmina now yes, skin is sir. yours uh thank you toastmaster mr parker uh i want to share some screen with you guys could you please allow me to share sir mr sairam siraj you you allow okay. Uh, okay thank you so much sir is my screen is visible to all of you yes yes okay then okay so hello a warm good evening to one and all present over here my top the topic of my speech is educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all how many of you really think it's true guys please raise your hands okay uh there are many examples around us if we look around us there are uh, there are examples like dr apj abdul kalam who was very much literate he has done very good thing in his life and on the right hand side we have hitler who was also another hand he was very much literate but he has used his power talent in wrong dimension he was like uh, uh he was uh, he was like uh, dominating people he was uh, ruling all around the world though the both the people have educated a uh, well educated both the people but the usage of education one is very much different one person is helping to other and another was dominating to others am i right guys okay don't you think uh, how many of you really read newspaper in the morning please raise your hands okay no worries so see every day in a newspaper we saw many news relating to this see this is a recent example of a jharkhand where the lady died at the at the gate of the like hospital she was around to reach the hospital but she died because there was no doctors available don't you think doctor was very much literate he got very good education but at the same time is not helping that lady then what is an advantage of getting education guys he was not available due to some reasons and even not even the nurses were available because of that the the lady and the uh upcoming child of him also like her like died at the hospital gate another example is like uttarakhand uttarakhand like we are seeing man and animal conflict don't you think we are literate but animals 
they talk in their languages but they are very much educated as per the according to the uh, like uh, uh, study the birds are the very intelligent than the man than the human being but still we have a very conflict with them why because they are the losing their habitat they don't have place to reside so these are the thing still we are getting so much education we are getting certificates blah 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 things every now and then but we are not applying those languages applying those education as my fellow participants saurab just now put emphasize on the whatever we have studied in a school but we are not applying it so if we are getting educated and we are not applying it on the right direction that it is a no education right and i wanted to share one story of mine few days ago i was like uh, uh, walking on the road there were uh, a road was block and there was a one old man who wanted to cross that road and he doesn't know another path because he has all the way come from that path and he was struggling half hard and i was beside him um, behind him then टोस्ट मास्टर सिराज और टोस्टर सायराम यस टोस्ट मास्टर स्पीच का अपना तहमीना आई थिंक शी हैज सम प्रॉब्लम इन द कनेक्शन या वी विल वेट फॉर अनदर थर्टी सेकंड्स देन इफ शी कुडंट एबल टू बैक विद अस देन विल एंड अप हर स्पीच Yeah, unmute. You are unmute. Just uh, unmute. Sorry. So it was so touched. I was so touched by that statement. They told like, uh, कितना अच्छा लगता है ना जब किसी की help करते हैं and they were like smiling and going. I was like so touched. They were not that much educated. They were in standard one and two, I guess. But they help that man. That is the main thing. We should learn and we should apply those knowledges whatever we have learned so far. Right, guys. and uh, last is like do you have uh, do you think uh, there are some solution to it i have jotted down some solutions uh see the solution are like if you you can also think like that educate the young generation because those are the upcoming generation they are the whole and soul they are the responsible for the upcoming uh, positions don't pressure them only for the bookish knowledge try to give them skill also try to tell them empathy is more important than the bookish knowledge educate their heart educate their mind as well as educate their whole personality and it is not only to the and it can be help if we direct them because self direction is most important guys self direction is most important according to me if i was unable to tell them they will they will just jump into the road and they can go easily but i told them i make them realize let the, let help that old man they helped and we were like all the easily we can go from one place to another thank you so much i think so i crossed the limit sorry for that thank you miss uh, tahmina for your uh, power pack speech thank you now let us uh, welcome our uh, next uh, interesting speaker now we did uh, two session for education now let's uh, Uh, welcome next speaker who is pursuing a final year in mba from mumbai and he had worked for rnd for product development and the topic of his speech is uh, time management let's welcome uh, mr ahmad rihan ansari now zoom is yours good evening so i will be giving speech on time management so 
I would like to tell a story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a king. He announced for the job of cutting the woods, and uh, two persons came for the demo, and uh, from them he has to select one. So uh, he has given axe to both of them, and uh, one of them started to sharp the axe, and another one was started to apply the effort to cut the wood, and uh, he was putting so much effort to cut the wood, and another one was busy to sharp the axe. Hardly at the end, both of them. Cut the wood at same time. At that time, the person who was busy with sharpening the axe and the person who was applying so much effort to cut the axe, at last stroke, both the both the person cut the wood at same time. But the king has selected the person who was busy with sharpening the axe. so it is not like how uh, it is not like we are utilizing the time but it is all about how smartly we are utilizing our time so with this i can say that time is precious which plays significant role in our everyone's life as we all we all are aware of proverb time and tide wait for none no one can discontinue the time flow once the time has gone it never comes back so we should utilize our time in a proper way we should time uh, we should utilize our time in a smart way to get uh, productive things and uh, to achieve our targets to get our uh, achievement on time so with the few of corrective actions i will close the speech we should not waste our time as well as others and we should utilize our every moment of our existence to get success in life so thank you all for listening me thank you so much thank you mr rehan for your wonderful speech now i would like to welcome our uh, last uh, speaker who has overall 25 years of vast experience in civil engineering field he is a gold medalist from maxel work as a planning and consulting engineer with mod saudi and oman uh, beside this he is a uh, passionate about singing urdu poetry and acquiring knowledge he is going to give an ambitious speech about uh, the topic the life is either a living adventure or nothing at all life is either a leading a living adventure or nothing at all uh, let us uh, welcome engineer jamshed ahmed khan thank you toastmaster nasuddin and distinguished guests good evening all the life is a daring adventure or nothing at all there's little correction in the topic the life is a daring adventure or nothing at all during my tenure with ministry of defense engineering services oman i was posted at muscat that is capital of oman one fine day my boss told me you have a bad as well as a good news he told me the good news is you are promoted to a special grade i the bad news is you have been transferred to masira air base to make you understand this scenario masira air base as a is an island and it's a remote place but masqat the capital of oman is there were lot of entertainment 
We used to go to malls. There are a lot of malls over there, but whereas in Masira, there are no malls at all. And I had so many friends at Muscat who are working with, with me as uh, officers. And we used to sit at our uh, military mess in the evening. We used to chat for long times. There was a lot of social life at Muscat, whereas at Masira, it was a lonely place and all my colleagues were local Omanis except me. So I, I was not having any friends, no any social life out there. So added to this, my boss tagging my transfer as uh, a bad news, it impacted on my mind. I lost hope and started I was a bit nervous and even there was a depression in me. I was much depressed. Day by day, my, my depression status deteriorated. I started sleeping for long hours without breakfast, lunch, and even dinner. My family got scared. They took me to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist asked me a few questions. And later on, he said, look, Mr. Khan, everything depends on you, how you face the circumstances. If you are comfortable with the circumstances, you can stay back there or you just resign and come back. Then I came back to my home. I just I was pondering upon the statement or the explanation given by the psychiatrist. Then I found out that both the options are there with me. Then I took it as a challenge and I opted for the second option that is I'll stay back and I'll face these consequences. Then later on, the mindset changed. I started mingling with the people. I started making friends. I started taking food on time, sleeping on time. Then I came out of my depression. So I came to the conclusion that the life is a daring adventure or nothing at all. Thank you so much for listening to me. The start of the day over to Toastmaster Saira. Sure, you can take over first. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Thank you for giving this uh, opportunity to host the today's uh, speeches. Uh, thank you very much. Now it's over to you, Mr. Toastmaster Sairam. Wow. Uh, speech chef Mr. Dean Parker, you did really a fantastic job. You know, you have given uh, just for a moment. We have one more speaker with us. Uh, Abz, if I'm not wrong, he confirmed at the last uh, moment, at last minute, Sahib yes, Sheikh. Sahib. Yes, please. I apologize for that. Uh, yes, please. The Zoom is yours. Speech track member Sahib Sheikh. I don't have a topic. <laughs> no. As, you can give the introduction. You can introduce yourself. Absolutely fine. So let's talk about the how we measure the success. So instead of giving the introduction again, again. So basically in our society, we measure the success by compare. Sorry, letter. Uh, actually, I can't start my video because of my network bandwidth is low. So you asking for me now. So uh, yeah, actually we measure the success uh, how we compare our own self with the others but it it does not mean uh, means it actually does not depends on how we compare it actually depends on the how we approach to the particular go goal bit by bit uh, by taking the baby steps and all these things so as we know we uh, we born alone and die alone 
so why are we are comparing with the others so it's main all these things depend on us so how we think uh, how to do and how to approach the particular thing that we want to achieve in our life so don't think how how the people are thinking about me and other all these things just do it don't think just acquire those uh, knowledge which is most required for achieving that particular goal and the make the friends which are which have the people will have the same goal as you make those only make only those friends which have the same goal so that you can achieve very easily uh, means it's like a shortcut to achieving the your particular uh, your goal so yeah it's um, if we see the life of the legendaries which we have in past in history like apj abdul kalam and uh, the uh, trevor no uh, if no if you don't know about the trevor no yeah it's not a legend but it's 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 kind of uh, if you talk about the apj abdul kalam he is from the iit he given the interview at the uh, at the indian air force he got the rank around uh, uh, 8th rank in the competitive uh, competitive exam but he got rejected because the seats are only limited to the seven and he makes the friends uh, to achieving this target uh, who have the same goal S- instead uh, still he is not able to achieve th- that goal but uh, he try he try and try at then he got the job as a scientist at the hell and finally is end up ended with the uh, with the uh, with the senior scientist at the isro so uh, means i mean to say exactly uh, i mean to say the our hard work is not going to west will not west we have to do uh, the hard work as per the our needs and as per the uh, our goal so yeah that's all about <laughs> sorry for <laughs> i am not people well <laughs> at the end i decided to speech craft member sahib shik it's absolutely fine the great initiative step which you have taken is came forward and delivering your speech this is the main step for any speaker for any leader who wants to take their life to to enhance their life well done so without any further delay uh, let us start the other next segment of our today's session now it is a table topic segment i think all of you know what is table topics right yes so please help me welcome the lady superstar of our desert panes toastmasters club and the ambassador for dtac 2021 she is none other than toastmaster elena paul toastmaster elena paul the zoom is yours thank you very much toastmaster sairam for that beautiful introduction Good evening fellow toastmasters and beautiful speech crafters how are you all doing today can i can i have everyone's cameras on for for the session well that we're having fine. now sorry what is that very well fine ma'am oh hey. <laughs> nice to hear that tahmina i hope you'll be taking part for the table topics today for those yeah, of you who <laughs> For those of you who don't know who have not been in a table topic session before let me do a quick explanation of what we do here during the table topics I'm going to make sure that you all are going to cry No that is not what's going to happen <laughs> This is an opportunity for you to test your impromptu speaking skills your spontaneous speaking skills You know you you've been in those moments where you you are asked a question from your professor at college or school your boss is asking you a question and your mind goes blank it happened to me so i'm sure that it must have happened to you all as well so this is a 
platform where you get to test those impromptu speaking brains out. All right. So I will give you a table topic and you will have to speak on it for one to two minutes. Timer, uh, can, can, you, can you show the cards? So at one minute, the timer will show the green card. At one minute, 30 seconds, he will show the yellow card. And at two minutes, he will show the red card. Uh, don't worry. One tip that I can give you is when I'm reading the question out, I want you to just have a calm mind and just listen to the topic, all right? Think, think of 10 things that you can think about related to that topic. All right, just be calm. Think of anything that comes to your mind. Just, just shuffle it in your head and then speak it out. Whatever comes to your mind, just speak it out. As simple as that. One to two minutes. You can do this. All right. So can I have a volunteer? Great. I hope my screen is visible. Yeah. All right, so I have eight Sorry to very, yes. That means uh, it I, is uh, minimum one minute. Yes, minimum one minute. I guess. Yeah, you, you speak okay, till fine. you see the green card. And then you can speak a little more until you okay. see the red card. But once you see the yeah. red card, try to end it, try to end it. <laughs> All right, I see a lot of hands. Um, Whoever unmutes first gets to speak. <laughs> you can say <laughs> hi. Who is that? Saurabh? Saurabh Tripathi. That's the only face I can see with the hand up, okay? There's only a few screens yes, that I can see. So, so let's have Saurabh Tripathi. Hi, Saurabh. Can you see my screen? There are, uh, there's Hello, eight, there's, oh yeah. Yes, there's eight questions eight, on eight the blocks. screen. Yes, so choose which one you would like. You can either say it as one, two, three, four, five to eight, or you can say what picture you see. Which picture would you like? Gift, 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 gift box, gift box. Gift box, gift box. all right. Speech crafter Saurabh. Did your video go off? Yeah, right. yeah. Everyone else, can you mute yourself so that we can hear Saurabh when he's delivering his uh, table topic? Speech crafter Saurabh. The best gift that you ever got. The best gift that you ever got. got. Speech crafter Saurabh. Screen is all yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Elena. The best gift that I have ever got is the gift of education in our village. And my parents decided me to study in a city. So they were not earning that well, but they chose to send me in a good convent school. So I got the opportunity to study in a good reputed English middle school and where I got to meet new people, new atmosphere, and there I learned new things. And this gave me the opportunity to go for higher studies. And in this way, I got to achieve what my parents thought of me. I, in India, the government job is considered as a success in most of the families. So at the end of the day, last, previous, previous last, in the last five, in last month of October, I got a government job. And this way, the gift that my parents gave me, I gave a return gift of becoming a government employee. Thank you very much. I cannot see the timer. So wow. I don't know whether it's... Oh, yes, you are on green. Very good. Very yeah. good speech talk to Saurabh. That was beautiful. Did you all see the way he delivered his table topics? I asked him a question 
and he immediately the first thing that came to his mind was best gift okay my job my study my education that was the first thing that came to his mind and he just spoke it out very good job saurav very good job so i have i have someone telling me i have my own secret uh, detective in here who is telling me whom to call next can i have uh, gufran is he here all right we'll have engineer okay hi which table topic would you like engineer jamshid can you uh, unmute yourself i can't hear you yes ma'am yeah. yes now i can hear you great so you have seven questions remaining which one would you like just tell me a number from 1 to 8 other than 3 1 to 8 7 7 all right my lucky number each crafter jumpshi if you want to lift yourself up lift up someone else if you want to lift yourself up lift someone else speech crafter jamshid the stage is all yours <coughs> you just if you to lift yourself up lift up someone else uh so that's a very good topic <coughs> if if someone want to come up in life i have to help others because if you help others that means helping humanity helping humans and uh, in whatever whatever means like for education helping in education uh, by paying the fees and they'll get educated once they get educated they will educate others so it's like a chain reaction you know so helping others that means you are helping to lift up yourself which is a habit in fact i hope it's done for the thank you so much <laughs> saved by the card <laughs> very very well done uh, speech prophet jamshid i like how you spoke something the first thing that came to your mind was helping others and that is in fact the way you lift someone else up and then you lift yourself up a very well delivered speech um, table topic uh, i can see that you are a natural it's going to be a great uh, you probably more used than the others by giving impromptu speeches <laughs> so let's uh, have our next volunteer can i can i sure sure after after you we are going to have someone who did not give a speech today so be prepared all right so um at where are you mina yes ma'am <laughs> yes uh, so which uh, which number would you like or which picture would you like okay oh the 6 one uh this one all right yeah. speech crafter tehmina your dream vacation your dream vacation speech crafter tehmina okay my dream vacation i really wanted to go uh like antarctica because because uh everybody is like uh, thinking of that 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 part is not being exploited and that have lots of reserves 
I really wanted to see whether it has lots of reserve. Why people wanted to go those places, Antarctica and Arctic Ocean, and we wanted as a human being, we have a unlimited one, and we wanted to exploit those reserves as well. I wanted to see those beautiful things before the human exploit those places. Before they reach that place, I wanted to reach first so that I can see the beautiful scenery and whatever is going to being exploited by us. I wanted to enjoy those moments first. So this will be my dream vacation. I wanted to visit those places so that it will be keep in my memory for long. Thank you so much. Wow. Now that was a table topic where you just twisted everything up. I thought you were going to talk about some vacation that you already had or some normal place a normal human being would think of, but you just went to Antarctica. Very, very good table topic. Uh, speech conference with Mina. Loved it. So who can I call next? Who did not yeah. deliver a speech today? Who's ready? Nasruddin. Rehan, you guys delivered, you guys had a role today, right? <laughs> yeah, me, All right. Sahib. All right. <laughs> All right, so who is it going to be? Nasruddin, is it going to be you? Okay, I'll, I'll cue. Speech crafter Nasruddin, which topic would you like? Yeah, it's uh, your speed. Uh, this one? Your are speed, no. speed. You are a speed 450. Ah, okay, okay. The first one. All right. Yep. Speech crafter Nasruddin. Would you rather have super speed or super strength? Would you rather have super speed or super strength? Speech crafter Nasruddin, the screen yes. is all yours. Yes. Uh, with uh, respect to speed, normally speed first thought in my uh, mind coming to go on fifth, fifth ring dot uh, by 120 speed. I never, uh, I never reach 100. I am going maximum by 100 whenever I'm alone or with my family. So my, I am cool. I am patient. If anyway I am stuck in traffic or I'm going late to office somewhere or I have too much urgency, even though I will keep maximum 100. So this gives me strength. Sometimes you should be a patience. If you have a patience, wait, wait, wait. One day, definitely one day will come, then you will achieve uh, to that destination. So that's all. I love this speechcraft session. Everyone is coming up with unique table topics. When, when that question is generally asked to a person, they say, I'm going to be like this superhero and I'm going to go fast and all. But you spoke about today's scenario of traffic <laughs> that we all go through. <laughs> very well done. Uh, speech craft for Nasruddin, very well done. So, okay, I'm going to pick the next person. Speech crafter Mohib. I can see you. Can you... <laughs> all right, great. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, which which topic would you like? Which picture would you like? Uh, I don't know any any. I don't know which which have been picked up. You can All right. actually give. Audience, shall I go for this one? I think I'll go for yeah, this yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> actually, I also wanted to know what is that. I can't remember what the topic was, but all right. Space crafter Mohib. Yes. <laughs> Your favorite <laughs> restaurant. Your oh my favorite restaurant, speech crafter Mohib. Yeah, uh, it's a very difficult uh, actually topic to make out. Yes, we have a restaurant here in Ranchi. I live in Ranchi and I have a very one of the favorite restaurant. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, it's a vegetarian restaurant. I don't know how many of uh, 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 people would like go for a veg, veg foods, but yes, well, yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, yes, but it's it's nice. They have maintained the quality. The ambience is very good, 
and I would love uh, going there again and again, every time. No issues. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, the the ambience is good. Uh, the, it's usually overcrowded during Saturday and Sundays, the weekdays, weekends. So I prefer going there on the weekdays in the evening with dine out with my family and mostly with the kids. It's a kids friendly restaurant. It has, it has a location, uh, a center location in the city also. So whenever we go out for shopping in the evening, when we return back, we 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 go we go to that restaurant. Yeah, thank you very much. Very well done, Mr. Uh, <laughs> you chose a very safe topic, and you just spoke <laughs> you spoke what came to your mind. Very good, very well done. Um, that, I believe that was your first table topic. So very good attempt. Yeah. Very well done. <laughs> so, uh, timer. Do we have time or? Okay. Uh, no, we'll go with the next segment, evaluation. All right. All right. Great, great. So thank you everyone for taking part and I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, as, I, as I mentioned, everyone who participated today, you must have learned something new and uh, some, something about your, how the way your brain works. So please make, try to use this opportunity at Speechcraft by taking part in table topics as much as you can. It really helps in your work life, in your study life and your life in general. And with that, let me hand over the screen back to our Speechcraft coordinator, Toastmaster Sairam. Thank you, Toastmaster Alina Paul, for the wonderful table topic session, particularly the last slide on women, on which our Speechcrafter Mahib Ahmed uh, spoke about. If you are not taking us to the good restaurant, you will be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> not only that slide, I every slide is correlating with the topic. <laughs> I actually thought he would say the best, uh, my favorite restaurant is my wife's food or my mother's food or something. <laughs> 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 All right, back to you, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Alina. Thank you so much for the wonderful and lovely table topic session. Uh, now, <clears throat> it's evaluation segment. Please help me welcome our first evaluator who is going to evaluate our first speaker of today's session, speech drafter Saurabh Tripathi. Speech drafter Saurabh Tripathi will be evaluated by a Toastmaster he is very regular to uh, beach cleaning, I mean, uh, in Kuwait. And he is a mountaineer as well, well known mountaineer. Please help me welcome Toastmaster Pradarshan Reddy. Toastmaster Pradarshan Reddy, are you there with us? Uh, Toastmaster Sairam, I was supposed to be evaluating uh, Toastmaster Tanima, right? Teniman Jamshid Sheikh. Mm. Oh, actually, you are supposed to evaluate Saurabh Tripathi. Okay. I was not aware of this. I'm sorry for the confusion. It's okay. No issue. Then, uh, uh, General Evaluator Toastmaster Varmit, uh, please be informed that I'm going to evaluate. Uh, our speech crafter, uh, Saurabh Tripathi. Speech crafter, Saurabh Tripathi, the way you have selected the topic for your speech is related to, related to each and every member of our today's session. Not only for today's session, for each and every member, I mean, each and every person in this society nowadays. Let me tell you one thing. We have the, a very well-known teacher in Kuwait and the general evaluator of today's meeting, Toastmaster Varmeet Kaur herself is a teacher. What is the purpose of joining teachers for the Toastmasters to learn something? This is how, this is how the teachers 
got initiated this is what you have messaged you pass the message you given the message to the society this is how each and every teacher at the educational system should learn to grow up to for the for the enhancement of the society the first member who is the key pillar of the society is a teacher because the teacher is the one who builds a strong relationship and strong kind of uh psych psychology point i mean psychology uh, mental strength in the kids yes the topic you have selected is very very similar to current um the main issues in the society this as per the topic is concerned which is very good but when it comes to the delivery of the speech point of view i would like to give you a few tips since you are selecting a very serious topic better you stand and keep yourself away from the camera and show your expression ex expressions by raising your hands or any kind of body gestures number 1 number 2 use some kind of tone i mean maintain the tone uh, levels if it is something like uh, you are uh, giving a very high recommendation recommendative point use your high tone high tone low tone medium this kind of uh, voice modulation you have to maintain uh, if you use these two uh, tips for your next speech for sure without any doubt you will take your speech to the next level Thank you, uh, Tosma, um, Speech Chapter Saurabh Tripathi, once again. Thank you so much. Our next evaluator, please help me welcome the tech moderator of our Speechcraft program and the finance manager, the money man by profession. Toastmaster Shiraz, who is going to evaluate our speech crafter Tahmina Shay. Toastmaster Shiraz, the Zoom is yours. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, speech, uh, Toastka, Toastmaster Sairam, for that wonderful uh, introduction. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, speech crafters, and my target speaker, speech crafter Tahmina. Toastmaster Tahmina, we have. Uh, learned in past two sessions uh, one is speech topic and also uh, how to introduce our how to introduce a speaker and also how to how to craft our speech uh, hats off to you you have used these uh, techniques and knowledge very well and you have drafted crafted your speech very well it was fantastic first of all you started your speech with a uh, with a question you asked us how important is the education and with that you, again you shared a screen shared your screen and showed two leaders one is dr abdul kalam and the other one is hitler and you proved us that on getting knowledge is not sufficient you should know how to utilize it this was wonderful wonderfully crafted and then the next next step you showed uh, you uh, you explained us about your personal uh, two stories one is a doctor story with a patient and also another story i don't remember india's law but another story about these animals cruel cruelty to the animals and again you prove you have uh, you proved us that education only getting education is not sufficient you should educate get the book knowledge as well as that how to uh, be how to be a good person in this uh, in this uh, in this world so these are these are very very nicely crafted and you are ending of course it was also you again elaborated with with the slides that what we should do so uh, all the speech crafters it is very and it, for us it is very important to elaborate our objective at the beginning and the end so that all the audience will grasp it excellent excellent in uh, your performance i would like to add only few things that uh, try to use 
more, uh, you, your your speed your pace the speed was i felt that is a uh, little bit speed so your pace try to reduce your pace it would be a, it would be a wonderful speech thank you and all the best over to you stoss master saira thank you so much sir for giving me such a wonderful i will definitely implement those suggestion in my next speech i want it to become good to best thank you so much sir thank you evaluator toastmaster shiras and speech crafter tamina shrik our next evaluation say uh, our next evaluator please help me welcome once again our tech master of today's session toastmaster shiraz who is going to evaluate his target speaker mohammad rehan toastmaster shiraz the zoom is yours thank you very much again toastmaster sairam uh, good evening again fellow toastmasters speech crafters and my target uh, speech crafter rehan uh, you both my previous target speaker and you you both were excellent not only in today's session in previous sessions also we noticed that you are you are you are you are going to a proper goal proper, proper objective hats off to you all today's speech in in your today's particular speech and whatever uh, i said to tahmina it, it applies to you also i'm sure that you will you will take into your consideration but specifically on your speech i like the storytelling by, by storytelling we can connect the uh, connect the audience uh, audience and their uh, audience to us so you connected us very well it was very uh, well structured i would like to add few things uh, as tahmina did she did uh, she told the story and she told the personal stories as well now you told about a story which is about a king and uh, two two uh, woodcutters one is sharpening uh, the sh sharpening the axe well and the other one did not sharp well Wh which i understood is you do your planning well you do your homework very well you do your education background well in future you can do the work easily what we do we all know that people who have studied who have who have done a lot of sacrifices initially in their life the later on their life is successful who wasted their life at the early stage has wasted uh, will be suffering a lot or suffered a lot in our past experience in in later late, later on in, our, in their lives so it it was the your objective your conclusion was very good uh, only one uh, one comment is try to utilize the whole 3 to 5 minutes because it is your time it's totally given it to utilize it fully and try to uh, uh, tell your personal stories it will it will uh, be more uh, connecting to the audience thank you all the best to you uh, speech crafter rehan i hope to see you your uh, next uh, few three session i would like to see more and more speeches from you thank you and over to you i will take care whatever the changes you are uh, telling all me i will take care of those things yeah yes. thank you sir thank you so much thank you toastmaster shiraz for the wonderful evaluation our next evaluator oh the perfectionist yes sorry just kidding another than it's by my <laughs> it's me i'm going to evaluate my target speaker speech crafter jamshid jamshid are you there with us yes please speech after jamshid life is daring adventure or nothing at all completely agree with you my dear uh, fellow toastmasters and the speech craft members how many of you agree on this point did you see speech after jamshid ahmed how many of us are agreeing with you you said it in a right way by explaining your story your own story then good news and bad news from your boss the comparing of your uh, previous place and current place current place means um, 
Maris, Masira, Airbase, the situations, the kind of situations you have handled, all of uh, all those incidents. For me, it looked like I'm watching a movie. It was never something like I'm listening or I'm hearing some story. No, it's like I can see, I can uh, imagine them actually when you are explaining. The way you are explaining your own story is super, excellent. I would like to give you a small tips to enhance, to improve your speech. The first one, when you are delivering your speech, better stand on the podium where you are having the uh, room and stay away from the camera and start delivering the speech, one. Number two, when you are uh, telling about the story, segregate, partition, part, I mean, do some pa uh, your room like one, two, three. For example, when you are talking about your company or boss, this position, when you're talking about your health condition or your current condition in the location Masira, go to the middle of the room. When you're talking about resigning, after resigning, what you are doing right now on the third place of your room. So that we can imagine that you are segregate, you are telling your story in a three steps. This is point number two. Similarly, when you are giving the comparison, similar, similarly the comparison also. When you're talking about earlier uh, place, stand at one point and give the pros and cons. This is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. When you're talking about the another location, Masira, go to the next place, then say, this is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. So that again, we can re-correlate your place in two segments. So which is where, which can become very attractive for the members to understand your story. But overall, your speech is excellent. You have a great skills of uh, delivering your story. Good luck. Wish you all the best for your uh, future projects. We have a one icebreaker. We had one icebreaker speech for today's session, which was given by speechcrafter Abzia Khan. I'm going to evaluate uh, uh, speechcrafter Abzia Khan. Uh, Abzia Khan, are you there with us? No, sorry to interrupt. I was muted at the time. <laughs> I was just thinking I'm, I'm talking. Uh, thank you very much for your valuable uh, feedback, sir. Thank you so much. It was quite informative. I learned so many things from that. Thank you once again. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, to speech chapter Jamshid Ahmed. It's our pleasure to have a uh, conversation with you and to share the platform. Thank you so much. Okay, so Thank since you. we are not having this, um, uh, we uh, since we are not having the speech crafter Abzia Khan here in the room, we will give the feedback to her personally. Now we will move to the next segment of uh, today's session, general evaluation. As I said earlier, she was the past, immediate past president of Sims Toastmasters Club, a very well-known teacher in Sims and the person and the key member of the club who brought Sims Toastmasters Club to the next level became a very well-known club in Kuwait, uh, Toastmasters fraternity. She is none other than Toastmaster Varmeet Kaur. Toastmaster Varmeet Kaur, the Zoom is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Saira. Uh, I believe there is one more icebreaker, Shahzeb Sheikh. Is it? The last minute, uh, not the icebreaker, but the last minute, uh, I think so he was not prepared. Is it? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. I I didn't go, got the means. I have not uh, the so, means Saidam, times please. to at last, at last moment. Saidam, I... please complete the evaluation, then I'll take over. Sure. Thank you, generally, General Evaluator Toastmaster Varmeet. 
Sahib Sheikh, uh, yes. speech writer Sahib Sheikh. Yes, yes, I'm here. Since you are not ready with your speech and you have uh, delivered a message oriented speech, which is on success. We always compare our success, our growth. We always try to compare with that factor with others. Not only we, in few houses, even our parents or, or some other uh, relatives, they start comparing us with other kids, which is not at all good. You, you picked up the right subject at right moment since you want to deliver, since you want to improve your communication skills. The point is that approaching towards the good and working on it rather than comparing yourself with others. And one excellent statement, which is accommodate yourself with a group of friends who are having the similar mentality, similar kind of goals or greater goals in their life. Yes then only we will start thinking like them. We will start uh, thinking about our goals. Otherwise, we'll go with the ideal person. We never became an ideal person in the society. Now, uh, and, uh, and you have taken the example of ABJ Abdul Kalam so that we can correlate your topic with ABJ Abdul Kalam so that we can get the clarity of the success. What is the key elements to get success? So since you are not ready for your speech, I would like, I don't want to give you more tips, but when you are ready, just try to turn off, turn on your camera and give, a, give your speech so that it, it will be very easy for us to evaluate your speech. Thank you so much. Over to you, um, General Evaluator Tosmas Vermeet Kaur. Thank you, Tosmas Saira. Now, as a general evaluator, I'll be doing everything in general, nothing specific. So to start on how the meeting started, the meeting started very much on time. And uh, I noticed uh, in the big thing, Saira, Sairam, uh, Master Sairam started with a motivational quote. So that was really nice where everyone felt motivated, even me because we need motivation each and every time. He introduced all the timer, the TMOD, and the general evaluator, very well introduction. That means he has done his homework, how the person is, and that teaches how you should introduce, like you all are new. So you all come to know that how you should introduce, how, what's the difference? Okay, Sairam, please give your speech. and. He is the president of Desert Pioneers, very passionate at work and, and winner of humorous speech contest at area level. See the difference. So he showed that how uh, that difference is and I am sure you all have learned from there. And I can see that how that you all have learned because TMOD did his homework quite well he made sure that he has taken the introduction of all the speakers who are coming to the screen for their speeches. So well done, TMOD, a great job done, well done. So being honest, the speeches, topics, the speeches were really heavy. It, I never felt that I am hearing the speeches from a speech craft, someone who is really new. These topics were really heavy. We feel as sometime in Toastmasters, we feel to think whether we should talk or not, but you all have done an excellent job by giving your speeches on different topics and your evaluators have given you how you can take it to the next level. Not only that, I appreciated, I liked that how you all took those in a positive manner and you are ready to accept it as a challenge and uh, going to give a better speech in next uh, meeting. So all the best and kudos to you all. So table topics were really interesting. 
I loved how table topics were there and how everyone was interested and enthusiastic to participate. I wish there was more time and I could hear more different aspects of those uh, table topics. So amazing job. Now, just a point of uh, improvement or you should say where uh, we can work on was uh, it's for everyone. Like Toastmaster uh, speech master Shazeb said, I was not prepared, I don't know. Being honest, you never looked unprepared. Whatever you spoke, you were prepared. I don't know what was there on your paper. So it's for everyone. No one knows what you had written or what you have thought for. So don't tell that you are not prepared. So never tell others that you are not prepared. Go confidently. That is what, and, and everyone will uh, realize, make, everyone will think that you are well prepared in the last minute also, and you did a wonderful job. So don't uh, let others know your weakness. Work on your weakness slowly. And uh, thank you. Take, uh, take all, uh, as you all have taken all the suggestions. So uh, well done. Meeting has been conducted in time. Excellent uh, job. I should say everyone has done a great job. Over to you. Uh, thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Varmeet Kaur for the uh, very well explained and constructive feedback with respect to the speech crafters uh, performance. Very well done. Thank you so much. So Sorry, I, like I just to, wanted uh, to add also timer also was doing a great job. I think he is also a speech crafter. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Timer is also a great job because uh, <laughs> timing I have learned on Zoom timing is the main thing. So timing is doing done by great. And I think so you the so whoever is doing it, it's great. Thank you, uh Toastmaster. Thank you so much. So I would like to add a few more points to our uh, um, Toastmaster Vermeet course observations and uh, suggestions. First of all, uh, congratulations, speech drafter Nasruddin Parker for taking a big step, for taking a big step as Toastmaster of the day, or you can call MC, or you can call it in simple words, host office meeting. Great job. The way you have uh, invited the members is really awesome. I never felt that you are you are feeling some kind of nervous. No, whoever approached you, to whomever you have get the information. According to that, you have introduced them very well. Great job. Next comes to comes to the um, individual speech crafters, starting from Mohammad Rihan, speech crafter Jamshid Ahmed. Speech crafter Saurabh Tripathi and uh, Ms. Tamina Sheikh and Saheb Sheikh. You people did very fantastic job. We never felt that you people are very new to the spe uh, public speaking. The way you have selected the topics, the way you have delivered your speeches is, uh, you know, it's a comp competing with well known Toastmasters, very, very, very well experienced Toastmasters. The only small tuning which is required for you is just how to uh, put yourself on the stage like the stage movements and the voice modulation these are the only things as far as i concerned these are the only tips i would like to give you apart from that the main basic element the subject very apt to the public speaking uh, platform well done to each and every speech crafter great job and table topic session. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Alina Paul. She is not here with us. Uh, and uh, again, speech crafters, you have uh, you came forward and you uh, taken uh, you have taken the role of uh, uh, you have you you have you came forward to participate in the table topic session. Frankly speaking, till today, I'll show kind of you know nervousness and I'll give it thought. To part to join the table, to table topic session, but you people did it very well. Once again, kudos to all of you and congratulations. And I would like to thank all the evaluators as well. 
now uh, do we have uh, i mean in, anybody is having any questions now before we uh, go further uh, the next segment anyone do you have any questions or anything uh, speech after mohib ahmed are you there with us yes sir yeah we would like to hear a few words from you i think <laughs> this session thank you very much sir uh, for giving me opportunity actually i missed the first session of this club that's why i i, I am a bit disoriented <laughs> about this course yeah and again i missed the i attended only a part of the second session and this is my complete first session so uh, i missed uh, i i think the first 20 minutes of the session and then i joined late and suddenly i was given a topic a table topic yeah so i was not knowing the format and i somehow crafted my speech yes and uh, yeah i am enjoying every bit of it and sorry that uh, due to my duties sometime i miss my uh, i have missed the initial part sorry and thank you for such a wonderful session yes i'll be i'll i'll, I'll try to be on time every 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 on every session thank you very much thank you uh, speech crafter mohib ahmed for the wonderful words uh, let me put one point to all of you uh, first of all you can just call me toastmaster saira rather than calling sir or something because uh, as i said earlier we are all we all are equal here we are here to learn something and when it comes to uh, our speech crafter mohib ahmed first of all congratulations for joining the program and taking the initiative to learn something to become a good leader or communicator or anything in our life if we want to get success the main two factors are learning and listening these are the main two elements as far as my uh, views are concerned about a uh, great leader and you have already initiated in your uh, in yourself and you joined the toastmasters platform congratulations any any uh, any more questions from others please feedback at least feedback i mean how you are preparing yourself and is there anything to ask us about your preparation hello toastmaster sairam hello uh, yes mr hamina sheikh please go on uh, sir out of the question like i just wanted to ask one question whether we are like everybody is delivering their speech on uh, every lecture so do we have a like a best speak a speak uh, like speech crafter award like something like that will get anath hello call me call me yes uh, speech crafter amina she upon your request we will try to implement by this session onwards itself okay then i just wanted to know that thing only on the day of evaluation we'll get right sir uh we will try to implement this award for each and every session from today onwards we'll maximum try uh, um mostly okay. by next session onwards we'll uh, for sure she is okay. asking for rank i think sorry <laughs> she is asking for the rank Best no i am not asking about the rank i am asking about the only the best one let the me one. put it this way actually uh mr sairam i like to comment a little bit is it okay if you allow me yes uh, tech master uh, shiras please uh, to my speech craft tahmina and all the speech crafters for your knowledge i'm we are just telling you in a, all the, our toastmaster club meetings all our meetings we used to have uh, we used to select a best speaker best evaluator best table topics person this is to uh, not about competing each other but uh, at least we should have a competition so that we will improve ourselves uh, yes, tomorrow sir. yeah for for this it is really important we are, pl we are planning to have such a uh, session next time next next session onwards we will uh, we will launch the best speaker who is the best speaker in that particular session so hope uh, okay. you are happy with that and all the <laughs> 
speech crafters please try to make your best speeches next time onwards we will select the best speaker in this session so yeah, yeah. Session, we will have three best speakers in our group okay this so okay. what you have to do you have to incorporate all those feedback given by the evaluators and the tips given by the uh, trainers during their uh, training session number 1 number 2 just follow the time given allocated for their uh, segment for example for a 3 to 5 minute speech if you uh, if you are giving the speech for more than 3 minutes and less than 5 minutes 30 seconds you will be qualified for the best speaker then poll yeah yeah true true you, right yes so, sir the purpose of asking this yeah, question no sir the purpose of asking this question because we are living in a so competitive world everybody is talking about the competition competition and competition life is a race bhagna hai bhago yes first of all sir i am we are in the room with ourselves <laughs> yes all our uh, room b participants are here speech crafters and the role players so we sh we will move forward for the next segment of today's uh, program so please help me welcome my fellow toastmaster and another coordinator of this preachcraft program toastmaster hanan haluj toastmaster hanan the zoom is yours thank you thank you very much toastmaster sairam my fellow toastmasters speechcrafters and guest mentors and all the participants and role players i'm sure every one of you have met in his life or her life the most cool person he ever met right yes yeah? yes absolutely put all those cool people in one person and you will get our trainer of the day is the coolest guy you can ever meet is an achiever an achiever is something i'm trying to find the bigger word than achiever he's he's a mentor a coach a passionate person a toast master to the maximum anything requested that require his support he's always there for me his profession is a sales person in the touristic industry he's a father a husband and today he is our trainer please help me welcome distinguished toast master vishal banugobal presenting our educational speech for the day general and specific speech purpose the stage is yours dtm rajesh thank you for the warm uh, welcome uh, to master hanan i would like to be referred as toast master over everything else now uh, let me just share my screen just give me one minute please okay i hope you all can see my screen thumbs yes. up please perfect yes. okay now again good evening to all the speech crafters from the other group too uh, the, the the best part of uh, toast masters is basically you know an, an interaction with uh, with people with lot of energies especially the speech craft sessions are my all time favorite because there's so much of new idea so much of energy and that is exactly you know the kind of thing which keeps a toast master going now today in my workshop which will which will be for 20 minutes i will be taking you through what is uh, how do you identify the generic general and specific purposes while you are doing the speeches uh, it's okay even if you uh, have no idea have not given any speeches before or even if you given one or two speeches it's absolutely fine we all are on the same page we'll start on the same page so before i start my favorite slide this was me before the the one which you say see from a to b with all the crosses up zigzag everyone that was me before i never knew uh, how to go from a point a to point b so this is very important in life because time and attention both are very much in demand but short in supply right so what happens is uh, even if it has work 
if you are a salesperson, if you are reporting to your managers, even if you are a teacher, if you are even speaking to your spouse, some relatives, or, or even your peers, it's very important you get from point A to point B in the shortest possible manner, because that's exactly what people will value you for. And Toastmasters, this is where we introduce this session, right in the beginning, where how do you get to your point right from A to B, and how do you come straight to your point? That's exactly what we teach in Toastmasters. And this will differentiate you from a communicator to an effective communicator. So in today's session, we will divide it into three parts. One is I'll just share a story. I'll share two versions of the story just for you to understand uh, what is the difference when you, we just give a speech and then when we give an effective speech. Second, we'll, we'll talk about what are general purposes when you start to write a speech, what are the general purposes which are involved? And then the third session, we will understand what are the specific purpose which you need to make sure should be there in the speech, right? The first thing first, since you have completed two sessions, I'm confident that we all are here to give speeches, which means one, you should be confident that you want to give a speech, that, that thing should have come in your mind by now. So that's where my, then after that, my session comes in. All I want you to start the moment you want to give any speech is take a piece of paper, right? Take a blank piece of paper, and then we start, what are we going to do today in the next 20 minutes? So let me just start with a story, a story which is a very simple story, which we have all heard in the childhood. Now I'm going to narrate this story in a tone and then repeat the story in another tone, right? So in a deserted place, there was a pot, dusty, dingy, dirty. There lie nearby stones, far-fetched. A bird flew down, flashing its wings and threw stones into the water. Quenching its thirst, the bird flapped its wings and fluttered away. There's a wonderful speech, right? It has triads, it has a very good vocabulary, it has a description, it has an imagination, a vivid description. I'm sure the speaker would have, would have been someone who's coming from a good background with good English, good vocabulary. And someone, you know, with, when someone hears the story, wow, I want to be something similar, right? I want to write some or speak some really good words like this. This is your first feedback. Now I'm going to re-narrate the story here. Now my, my story goes like this. A thirsty and weak bird came across a water pot which was half full. Bird decided to throw stones into the pot by which the water level rose. The bird, satisfied, drank the water and flew away happily. Moral of the story, thoughtfulness is superior to brute strength. The message, if you ask me, was more clear in which story? The first one or the second one? The second one. This is exactly what happens when we write speeches. We just try to push all our thought process, whatever we know, whatever we want to convey, we push everything into the script and then we start enacting that script. But what we forget is, why do we give speeches? There is a difference between a mono acting drama and public speaking. The difference here is public speaking is, 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 is all about keeping the audience in mind, right? It is all about the, what the audience wants. How effectively can you communicate? That is, why, that is where you'll be called a good public speaker. And this is exactly what we learn in Toastmasters too. How do we communicate our thoughts effectively? Now, in the second story, have, there is no vivid description. There are no triads. There are no big vocabularies. All we have done is just very simple story narrated in a simple way, keeping the right perspective in mind where the, 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 the bird is the main character here and how the bird thinks differently and gets what the bird wants. So that's exactly what, what was the thought which was kept in mind when we was enacting the second story. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I want you to learn. First, remove the misconceptions that a script has to have effective vocabulary and effective words. The best of the speakers, including the international uh, speech winners in Toastmasters International, never use very complicated vocabulary. It is all about using simple words, but what is important is get to the point. 
would are you able to understand what is the purpose of your speech are you able to get from a to b are you able to write a script where the audience can immediately catch you from the first word till the last word and stay hooked to your story that is exactly what is called effective speaking right let's get to the point in this case now when you decide to write a story as i mentioned there are generic purposes generic purpose is basically there are four different purposes where you give a story or a speech it could be an informative speech informative means an example one of you uh, was working with an oil and gas company and would like to show or probably share some of the the skills which we are not aware about you want to show about you want to talk about a research topic which probably we may not be aware about uh, maybe talking about uh, let's say global warming very important topic you want to inform people about global warming you want to probably speak about uh, the the covid 19 situation which is going on so you want to inform people about covid 19 that's an informative speech the second style is called an entertaining speech now many of you would probably would like to keep speeches light but more of humor more of entertainment now entertaining speech doesn't mean that you know you just break out to the floor laughing and 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 smiling always no entertaining means it's also feel good factor speech it's more like a, a hindi rom com movie where you've just sat through the movie had a good time and then after the speech you know you 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 have a very pleasant smile on your face that's called an entertaining speech the third style is called persuasive now when i say persuasive is you are actually convincing somebody to change their viewpoint you're persuading someone to think differently people are not washing hands today due to the covid 19 you're giving a speech to persuade them that they could they need to clean hands and and you know they need to maintain the basic sanitation measures persuasive the last time is called inspirational now inspirational means you are actually changing the whole viewpoint of the audience right you you're giving a point where the audience are on point a you are actually changing the perspective and bringing them to a point b uh, giving some uh, like let's say example a speech about how relationships needs to be taken care of how maybe relationships are similar to plants you need to water them nurture them take care of relationship otherwise the whole relationship will get rotted so it's an inspirational message you want to send so these are the four different purposes now they have five fingers and all fingers are different same way each and every one of you speech crafters are different you all will have your individual styles so it is up to you to decide what mood you are in and which kind of speech you want to give right so the purpose of the speech the general purpose of the speech is decided by you yourself so what you need to do is as i said that piece of paper you need to sit separately in a separate area and decide today what do i feel like what kind of speech do you do, do i feel like giving do i feel like giving an informative speech and very entertaining speech persuasive speech or an inspiring speech so calm down relax and evaluate it once you decide which speech you want to give write on the top of the page today i'm going to give an entertaining speech today i'm going to give an inspiring speech or today i'm going to give an informative speech like example today's session i've decided that i will be giving an informative session to all an informative sessions where i'll try to mix some persuasive skills and this is exactly what i decided today so my workshop is all about informative and persuasive one that's it i'm not going to think about the topic i'm not going to think about the details of the speech nothing else in my first part that is a generic purpose i will just understand and i'll i'll select what purpose of my speech do i need to cater to today is it clear till here perfect right now since i'm clear now i'm going to give an informative speech so this is going to be a lot of research material or probably things which i know um so i need to put some persuasive language to to it so then i now i'm coming to the main purpose which is the specific purpose of the speech right so in a specific purpose in toastmasters it's very important that your speech 
is takes care of three main areas. The first area is every speech needs to be from an audience perspective. Now, here I'll take you back to my story. I used to give speeches in Toastmasters before. Now, I used to give speech, uh, speeches about, about inspirational material, about, as I said, the plans, the relationship. But then when your speech is not connected with the audience, there is a good possibility that the audience will understand different perspectives of your speech, right? It's not that you are a bronc or a bad speaker, but the audience, different audiences will not understand the same message which you want to convey. So it gets conveyed into different, different messages, different audience, which means there is no common uh, or a similarity in your message, which is exactly not the perspective. Your, 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 your whole idea is understand from the audience perspective, what, what kind of audience I have in the first place. Like example today, my audience is speech crafters, right? So the whole speech would be understood by a set of people who are new to Toastmasters, who would not be knowing very, very uh, uh, flashy terms if I use in Toastmasters. All they know is they're very new, they want to learn, and they just want simple way to understand how a speech could be done. And that's exactly the way I have to build my workshop today. It has to be very simple, in a very simple way, I need to make them understand one, two, three, four, five steps. How can you identify your generic as well as specific focus, right? So audience perspective, everything has to evolve around the audience perspective. Now there are two main things here. One is the specific objective. The second is the attainable objective. Don't go by the complex words. What is the specific objective of my speech? My specific objective today is to make sure all the speech crafters yeah, should get to the point at ease. They need to understand, they need to get to the point easily. And that's exactly the whole reason my, 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 my workshop should be divided in a way that they, they completely understand how to get to the point from A to B. Yeah? And what is an attainable objective? Attainable objective is very simple. End of the workshop, I want each and every speech crafter to be able to define clearly what are their generic objectives? And what are their specific objectives in their speech? Simple as that. So now you know how, now I'll teach you how to build the specific purpose of your speech. So generic, you've, you've made a note on that blank piece of paper that today you would like to have an informative or, or entertaining or persuasive speech. After that, I want you to write first, what is the message you want to convey, right? This is a specific purpose, right? The attainable objective or the specific objective. What is the message you want to convey to the audience? And then write. Yeah, right. Um, so that's that's exactly what you need to write there. What? How do you convey uh, the specific objective, right? And write in a, in, a, in a line, in one line, a message. What is that message you want the audience to take home? This exactly should be conveyed throughout the speech. So in the introduction, try to make it clear what you want to say. Today, I would like to give a speech which probably informs you about how to get to a point from point A to B. In the body, use stories and examples. I used to give a speech before, probably give one, two, three examples or scenarios which can probably build your story better, which is the supporting evidence to make sure you, know, you get to that objective much faster. And the third conclusive evidence, tell them clearly. I hope every one of you understood how to get from a point A to point B. I hope every one of you understood how to write the message of the speech first and then write the whole body and, and, and then the whole structure of the speech. Make this very clear to the audience. And when you do that, you will definitely find people relating to your speech better, right? So this is basically, to summarize a general and a specific purpose. How much time do I have, uh, Hanan, now? I see a red. Um, I think you're accounted for 20 minutes, so uh, maybe five minutes again. Five minutes five because minutes. The, the timer uh, was under the impression it's 15 minutes. Okay. So five minutes, Can please, I timer end. Quick, uh, I, I just like to do one case study. Can I have a quick volunteer, please? It could be a Toastmaster also or a speech crafter, but very quickly because I just have five minutes. Can I, sir? Please, please. Tahmina, right? 
Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Tamina, what we are going to do is in the next three minutes, we are going to write a script for you, right? So we're just going to do a small exercise. Now, when I ask you, just answer my questions quickly. Uh, this may be used as your next speech. Okay. okay. Now, Tamima, um, let's say you are writing your next speech. Okay. Okay. And uh, what kind of speech do you think you would like to write? Uh, informative one, um, um, one which is probably entertaining, inspiring, or persuasive one? Uh, inspiring plus informative. Okay. So, Tamima, you would like to have a speech which is inspiring plus informative one. Okay. Tell me what do you do? Sorry? What do you do by profession? By profession, I am a student, sir. I am preparing for competitive examination. Okay. So you are preparing for competitive examinations. Generic purpose. Okay. Now, a specific purpose, Tahima, is uh, this speech would be done for whom? For the speech for craft. My... Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. For the speech crafters. Great. And what is the specific objective you want to achieve from this speech? Let's say you take a topic. It could be cracking your competitive exams. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you need to do for cracking the competitive exams? You need to have a dedication, right? You need to have a good will. Perseverance. Perseverance. Absolutely. Yes. So your 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 uh, specific objective here is to inspire the audience. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to consistently work hard. To. Okay. To achieve their goals. Okay. Correct. Okay. Now, your uh, attainable objective here. Okay. Attainable in the sense is moral of the story. Moral of the story is you need to tell the audience. Okay. Um, what what are you need to tell the audience uh, a s inspiring story by which the audience will probably do one two three steps. So that you know they can actually uh, go and achieve their goals. Not necessarily a competitive exam. Maybe something in their career. Maybe something in their family life. Okay. So this is basically one, two, three steps which you will mention in your speech, by which they will achieve what they want in their career. Exactly. Okay. So uh, in in this case, what you will do now, Ahima, is uh, introduction. You will make it very clear, dear speech crafters. Uh, uh, you know, uh, perseverance is very important in our, in our daily life, right? Uh, without yes, perseverance, nothing works. So to persevere is a very big word. You could probably even break it down into a very simple words like like keep doing what you're doing, uh, mm, or uh, tick tock tick like a clock. Okay, you know you know a clock, right? Clock keeps going. Tick tock tick yes. tock. It keeps working consistently all the word twenty four seven, so that it gives you that time always. So, in this case, you could probably compare your whole script to a clock, okay? Tick tock tick, and this is your script completely. And then you build stories, and you build stories around it. You build stories about how you know you are working consistently like a clock, or probably how you have seen your father mother working like a clock, or probably how you have seen your peers working like a clock. So you can put some two stories there. And then the whole script becomes a very effective one. So the audience will remember Tahima, a clock, and then they'll remember you, and then they'll remember perseverance. So that's exactly what I want you to, to look into. It. Yeah? You, you get my yes. point, sir? Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. So Tahima, what will you do first? Okay, on a, on a blank piece of paper, what will you write first? Your the the speech topic what exactly you no, you write your general purpose first yeah, you first understand purpose. what you want to do yeah oh, and yes. in, on the second paper what will you write a specific, specific purpose. purpose exactly and during the specific purpose the whole speech should be addressed to whom the specific objective the audience first the yes audience. the audience yes. and the specific objective for the audience speech yes sir. for the audience basically yeah correct so I think I think my time is up now. So uh, I just like to summarize by saying that uh, it's it's easy to to just speak for seven minutes, but it's very very important, and it's it's it will be effective. Your speech will be effective only when you get to that point from A to B in the shortest possible time. And this can be possible only when you think about the audience, okay, and a good uh, speech uh, uh, attainable objective. 
So with this, I'd like to hand over the podium back to Toastmaster Hanan. Thank you very much, uh, DTM uh, Rajesh. A very inspiring and informative presentation. Thanks a lot. I think all the speech crafters have gained lots of information. And please uh, accept from us, the speech craft coordinators, a certificate of appreciation for your participation today. Thanks a lot. And I wish we can have you also for upcoming uh, educational presentation. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Now, my speech crafters, we are reaching the end of our meeting today. But before we leave, let me give you just a summarization. What is now expected from you for your next project? Your next project, you have listened today to how you can build a speech for a general or a specific purpose. So you need to implement that in, for, in your next speech. So we are requiring for group A and group B, we, of course, we would like people to nominate themselves as the masters of ceremony. And we would like people who are interested also to continue delivering their speeches for three to five minutes, implementing whatever you have learned today from DTM Rajesh, the steps you have to go through in order for you to prepare a well-structured and a well, let's say, presented speech. Stay tuned also for our next meeting on Sunday, next Sunday, March 28th, in which you are going to learn two main things as as a public speaker need. You need to learn how to use your gestures. And we have a, um, an amazing young lady. And you need to also to start learning how to give feedback, how to evaluate others. Because again, we learn from each other. And, it, and this also is going to be delivered, the discussion for how to evaluate is going also to be delivered by an amazing young lady. Uh, she's one of my group mentors, Toastmaster Sana. So, by this, I would like to end our meeting and please our supporter, Toss moderator, Toastmaster Shiraz, if you can take the mentees and the mentors to their room so that we can discuss the project. Thank you very much and good night for all. Good night, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Hi, good evening. Good evening, uh, speech Hi, good evening. Uh, Mohib, Mohib, this is your third session. You can unmute yourself, guys. Now feel free to speak. And uh, like, if possible, just uh, switch on your videos so we'll know each other. B12 South. You have to go to the breakout room. You have already allocated to the breakout room. Okay. Now we'll we'll continue what what we have done. Now we'll start with Nasruddin. Yep. Nasruddin, in your first uh, we had first session that is uh, an educational session. Second session you did your icebreaker speech, right? Yes. 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 And third session that is this session you did your introducing introducing uh, speakers that is uh, like an mc wonderful job so what's your plan for the next session next section i'll planning for the speech delivering speech what today mr toss master rajas says on base, on that basis i will draft my speech you will you will draft your speech okay inshallah so i will shall i put your name uh, in the group yeah yeah okay so the it is on sunday next speech is on sunday just try to prepare yourself contact me Contact Sairam or contact any, uh, your mentor also. We are always ready to support you. We'll help you out how you can draft your speech. Last session, we learned how to uh, organize your speech. That is the opening, the body, and the closing, conclusion. And today, we learned the two things. One is general objective, general purpose, and the specific purpose. OK. And how about uh, Sahib? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, how is your progress? Sorry. Past, how is your progress in the past uh, three sessions, including mm. three sessions? 
yeah little more uh, more effective than the previous one because the first one is the only, only introduction part and the second one i am not pre well prepared because at last moment i get that time uh, it's okay uh, for for next time it is on the i think it is on, it is on the sunday yeah so yeah. i will prepare with more efficient with more, more efficiency okay prepare yourself your speech take into consideration these two two factors main factors one is how uh, the opening body and the closing i have shared uh, the powerpoint presentation related to in, in the whatsapp group so you can refer it and general and specific purpose also today or tomorrow i will share it in the group you can you can refer it okay but uh, prepare yourself your speech and you can send send me the speech if you like so i can just review your speech and uh, any comments i can give it to you who is your mentor uh, sahib no, wait uh, i have to check on mobile maybe yeah, I'm, I'm, your mentor is amre either you can contact amre or you can contact me or saira we are always ready to support you okay, okay. so don't get delayed uh, don't uh, take too much to write a speech just write a small a small speech and then you can develop it first uh, write 10 to 15 sentences then step by step you can increase your speech okay, okay. your speech your speech has to be 3 to 5 minutes not more than 5 minutes don't make it a huge speech only 5 minutes you are allowed okay yeah. sahib yeah thank you mohib <laughs> mohib how how are you mohib are you there okay saud how are you saud saud ul hasan are you there Hello. I will send Saudul Hasan to B group because he is from B group. Yes. You have uh, decided what you will do. Yeah, I have decided. Uh, well scripted speech I will give on next Sunday. Okay, so I will I will put the agenda in the group. Uh, maybe one of you all can take the MC role also, if you like. But I will do, uh, put it in the group because you uh, you all have already done two speeches, right, Sahib? Yes. Yes. so if you like you can be the mc like introducing the members you can take that project on the next up upcoming meeting and also if you like you can do speech also you can do both not that you can do one if you like you can do both also it's up to you yeah. okay okay sahib all the best uh, sahib nasiruddin and uh, we'll see in the upcoming sessions if you want you all can leave who is that baby show me show me your son <laughs> Where's your son? Son or daughter? Nasruddin. Yeah. Was it your son or daughter? Daughter, daughter, Jaya. Ah, hi. How hi, Sujaya. Say. Hi. Well, I'm fine. What's your name? Jaya. Jaya. Wow, Allah, very nice name. Which class you're studying, Jaya? Which class? Which class grade? Grade one, two, ten. Ten? You are in grade ten? <laughs> grade one. <laughs> oh, great, great. <laughs> Mashallah. Um, okay, I will speak to. I think Mohammad Rehan dear, Mohammad Rehan also dear, Mohammad Rehan. Rehan, how are you, Rehan? Um, I... And finally, Alhamdulillah, how are you, sir? 
I have, I think you, there's some problem with your connection. So, 